Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Phil from Golf Clash Channel. Um, just thought I'd give you a quick little demo of the hole number 6 for the upcoming Las Vegas tournament. This is the new par 5, or one of the new ones, and I've just got here on the screen where I'm going to show you what I did and, with the, and what my opponent did. Here's the layout of the hole, it's a par 5, it's a tricky one you got really a basic choice of left or right both have their pros and cons and challenges the hole I'm about to show you curves it had a crosswind cross tailwind um, from right to left of about 11 with the balls that we were using so here we go we've got I was playing Dwayne and here is his first shot which, as you can see, 11 mile an hour tail crosswind. And he went for the left hand side. Played it pretty well, except he probably just did not, did not give an, quite enough curve on the ball, on the ball, and ends up in the rough down the left hand side. Overall, not a bad drive, but just missed the fa just missed the fairway. And here is my tee shot. I looked at it, looked at it, trying to maybe go straight down the middle, but the wind wasn't favourable, so I play the riskier shot with full top spin and side spin to the right. Great shot. And just clear it right, and I end up bouncing it right into the perfect spot or near perfect spot for the approach now we have Dwayne's second shot this time we have a six and a half tailwind tail crosswind to the right which helps with this hole for this angle shot here he goes for his overpowered wedge happens to get a good bounce but just not quite enough distance to get there and ends up in the rough short of the green. Now it's time for my shot. I've got virtually a directly horizontal left to right one. I tried to do the uh, f fringe skip and I got a shocking bounce as you can see there. Um, I, mis I misjudged it but the one thing you can take note of from these shots of how close that pin is to the front edge of that green it's got a big upslope on the edge of the on the edge of the green so it is something to be very much mindful of now Dwayne's going to play the rough shot he pulled it right back put full top or fair bit of top spin on it and we'll see how he went for his eagle chip in Hits it perfect. I was a bit worried, and and he just misses. So I breathe a sigh of relief, as you'll soon find, figure out why. And so I pl I'm in the bunker. I've pulled out my Spitfire. I'm slightly lucky here. I had virtually a direct headwind, so it made it easier for the adjustment. And Spitfire is never fun trying to play it out of this, especially only a low level. And I happen to hit it perfect. And and it's a good thing the pin was there because it helped me. A good thing the pin was there because it helped me stop the ball. And that's the two ways of playing the Milano 5C on tour nine for the upcoming tournament. 